Hey friends! In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make these cute gingerbread people, specifically this cute little gingerbread girl. Supplies needed for today's craft. Styrofoam, a hot knife, your pattern, sandpaper, small round sponge, a cookie cutter, a round one, paints, brushes, glitters, Mod Podge, foam balls, styrofoam glue, ribbon, a sharpie, and toothpicks. Okay friends, we're outside in my screened-in porch. I want to introduce you to my hot knife. It is a foam cutting knife and uh, we Eric picked this up for me at Harbor Freight and I believe it sells for $19.99. Friends, it is the best thing to cut through styrofoam. I love it. Uh, before we get started, I'm going to trace my little gingerbread girl's body on this piece of styrofoam and all I'm doing is using my sharpie to trace it with. Styrofoam is really so easy to work with friends. And this hot knife is my new best friend. And a much safer alternative than the knife. Oh yes, I'm sure that uh, some of you saw what happened in the popsicle video where the knife broke in two. It is so easy to work with styrofoam. Styrofoam is going to be my new best friend. Oh my gosh, I can already see all the things I'm going to make for Halloween. Oops! <laughs> yes, this is much easier to handle and safer, I believe, if you're careful with it. Okay, I've got my little girl body traced off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead to uh, eliminate the excess and to make it easier to maneuver around when I'm cutting it. I'm going to go ahead and cut this excess piece off. Okay, what you do is you press this button. When the button is pressed in, there's heat coming through. And friends, the reason we're outside is because of the fumes. You do want to have proper PPE if you're going to be inside. And I have found that for me, it works so much better in an up and down motion. And you're using what, foam core board? Is, is it uh, oh yes, and I placed the styrofoam on top of the foam board, just a piece of foam board that I have keep you from burning into any tabletop. Right. Whoa. See how easy that is. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the neck of the little body there. Just going to Can you hear it sizzling, Eric? Sizzle, sizzle, baby. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Kind of like you when you're baking your chicken. Yep. Grilling my chicken, not baking. Oh, grilling. Excuse me. Eric grills the best chicken, friends all nice and tender and it's got all kinds of spices and it is just really really neat you know what I forgot to show them uh, the trick in between where the dress meets the legs but I'll go on to that here in a minute and you can't go wrong with this because if you have any imperfection friends what you're going to do 
is you're going to grab your sandpaper and you're going to smooth it out. So uh, you can't go wrong, trust me. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. Because I haven't learned to maneuver it real well. So to be on the safe side. Yeah, this is only like, what, your third time using it? Uh, actually, yeah, it's my third time using this. But I love it. Yes, I cut out a little gingerbread boy. And actually, it was so much easier because it didn't have a lot of detail. And it went really, really fast. You do have to be careful and not burn yourself. Because this little knife, as good as it is, it didn't come with a stand. So you just kind of have to lay it on one side. to lay it like that okay friends since I didn't cut in between the legs right there where the dress meets the legs I'm gonna use the knife just to uh, cut that little piece just gonna cut across a clean cut you can use your utility knife or um, box cutter look at that friends how quick and easy was that? Okay, now I haven't read up on how to clean my, my knife yet, but when I get through with it, I just kind of rub it down on this board and take any foam that's stuck to it and just kind of wipe it off. There. And as long as you take your finger off of it, it turns off. Okay, so I've got the little girl's body done. What you're going to do is you're going to smooth out all these little rough edges. You're just going to take this sandpaper. And Eric got me this little, uh, what do you call this, Eric? Uh, in automotive, it would be a, a sanding block, like a soft block. Look how easy. And I recommend using a low grit so that way it'll help knock down the edges. You can always go back with something a little finer, but... Yeah, you can go back. I used a little finer, but this one cuts so well. So mainly, I just kind of work with it, kind of soften the edges up a little bit. Goes really, really fast. I love this thing. But basically, that is all you do to it. When you feel it's smooth enough to go ahead and paint, and you're going to have this black right here from where the um, Sharpie marks were at, but don't worry about it because you're going to paint over that. Okay, so since I'm not really a pro at cutting circles, I tried it and um, I'm not ready yet. So for the little girl's pigtails, this is what I did. I took the extra piece of fun foam, I mean of uh, craft foam, and I'm using just a circle cookie cutter. And I'm placing it down, and I'm just pressing with my hands. And then when I get to a point where I can't press it, I just look around to see what I have. And I press some more. See, there's her little pigtails. And yeah, it's a little rough around the edges, but that's where your sandpaper comes in. You're just going to sand them down. And these do not have to be perfect. But the Where did you get that from too, by the way? 
Uh, this is just a cookie cutter. You can get it anywhere. You can get one at Walmart. You can get it at Hobby Lobby, at Michael's. Actually, I picked this one up at the Joann shop. I hadn't been in that store in, oh my gosh, 30 years, I think. And I happened to be by one. And I went inside and I paid a little bit too much for it. I think I paid two bucks for it. I think you can get them cheaper everywhere else. But um, had to have it. It was a perfect size for the little girl's pigtail. See, friends? Now it's ready to be painted. All right, let's go inside and start painting. Okay, friends, now that we're back inside, we're going to go ahead and base coat and detail the little gingerbread girl. I, for filming purposes, I've already painted the edges of the little gingerbread girl body. And uh, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take my Sharpie and I'm just going to detail a line here for the dress and another line here. And remember friends, you cannot go wrong. You can fix anything, so don't be afraid to just do it freehand. Okay, so First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the legs and the arms and I'm using this coffee latte, coffee latte, and it's folk art paint. Um, let's see, I'm going to use, and it's better to dip your paintbrush in the water a little bit to thin down the paint so you can get it onto your um, styrofoam smoothly. I've noticed it's brighter than the edges. Is, that, is it darken up to the edge? What do you mean? Oh, it's because that's dry already. Gotcha, that's what I meant. Yes. So it'll look more like that. Yes, I put this out in the sun earlier and it didn't take it but 20 minutes to completely dry on the sides. So take advantage of this hot weather. Put your little um, base coated projects outside and they'll dry very quickly. And you can move on, make a bunch of stuff. What do you usually like to pick up your folk art paint? F the folk art paint, uh, if it's not available at Walmart, I pick it up at Hobby Lobby. And I say Hobby Lobby, it's because um, it's closer, where I live, it's closer to go to Hobby Lobby and there's a Dollar Tree, my favorite store right next door. So, um, and if we go to Michael's, it's further down. So that's why I always pick Hobby Lobby first. And um, they seem to carry it all the time. Walmart doesn't always have it. Ben, I noticed that some of the viewers have told me that in a lot of areas and places that you live, you don't have Hobby Lobby or Michaels, but there's a Walmart just about anywhere. I believe, don't you think, Eric? Uh, it's kind of hard not to stumble across one anymore. <laughs> I go all over the country all the time. It's the only thing that you're guaranteed to see. That's right. Friends, and remember I told you, I've been finding out that with this styrofoam, a lot of times you don't need to do two coats. One coat covers, if you cover it really well, it covers really thick and um, one coat is all you need. Now if you can't find this color, you can always use the Territorial Beige and it is in the same brand, I believe. and or you can use the, um, there's a caramel color as well. And they're all pretty much pretty close. Okay, now, and I use the um, Americana Red. Remember I told y'all that's my favorite one? My favorite red to use. Now I will tell you that what I've noticed in working with Styrofoam and painting on it, it does take up more paint than my regular projects. I, I paint a lot on matting board, and I used to do a lot of wood, and I guess because this is absorbent, it takes 
it kind of uses up quite a bit of paint. Well, it's very porous. Yeah, porous. Is Anything that's saying. porous soaks up a lot of paint. Yeah, but it, it sure is pretty once it's decorated. And what I like about these is it's very lightweight. Like this, when it goes on the, I plan to put on the Christmas tree and you can just stick it and hold it up with the branches, stick it in between the branches and stuff. So if you were really going to make a lot of those and you didn't want to burn through a lot of paint, the, the better thing to do would be to prime them with like a spray on primer. Really? Yeah, I hadn't thought about that. You're we're right. Little You're little so, here. Eric, Eric, it, knows a lot about the paint industry. Well, I mean, it's just, I do so many different things that I have so much experience. I've already lived so many lives at a young age, but, <laughs> but he's, uh, he's got like 36. But uh, yeah, I've been around a lot of different stuff. A lot of it, whether it's construction or automotive restoration or whatever it may be, a lot of these skills carry over and apply or I see ways to apply things I learned in one area somewhere else. And to me, if you spray uh, like a spray on primer on there, whether it's out of a rattle can or you have a gun to spray it on, your husband maybe has a, a spray gun at home or something, you can use that, you know, <laughs> set them all out and, and hit them all. And so what that'll do is seal it so then it'll take less paint. You know what, friends, we're gonna have to try that and we'll get back to you and let you know if that worked or not because I'm gonna be making a bunch of these. In fact, I'm gonna be making, I already have one ready. I'll just, I'll tell them at the end what I'm gonna do with it. <laughs> Make them wait. <laughs> oh, friends, y'all have been so good to me and to Eric, to our channel. Our channel is growing and we just love reading your comments all the nice things that you have to say to us. We really, really appreciate you. You know, this started off as something that I wasn't really sure. I, was, I just didn't know what I was getting into, but uh, I'm so glad I did. I have met so many wonderful people. Y'all are just amazing. It makes my heart happy. And Eric's too. Oops. I like to make a heart on this. There you go. Okay, I'm going to let this, I'm going to set it aside. And what I'm using for the face is um, one of these styrofoam rounds. And I've already got it base coated for filming purposes. And I've already showed you basically with the, um, the lollipops that I did, the gingerbread lollipops, how easy it is to stencil this. But we'll go ahead and do this one together. Um, so simple, friends. If you cut out your little stencil, and we found that Amazon carries those right? Mm -hmm. Proje overhead, paper. overhead project projector papers, sheets or whatever. I'll try and put links to everything in the description box below, but if I forget, you guys just remind me in the comments. I know, sometimes we forget, friends. We, got, we have so much going on. I juggle a lot, and the fact is, we've already filmed this video once, but <laughs> she was tired, I was tired, we had a lot of different stuff going on, and I was juggling a lot that day, and I tried to make it work, because I know you guys have been asking for this video, and I got to editing it, and I just, I wasn't happy with it. We were not happy with it. Oh, friends, I was, I'm so sorry. We have taken a long time for this one, but we wanted to do it right. So here we are again. And round two. Round two. Thank you, Eric. <laughs> oh, my goodness. There we go. Put on the glitter while it's wet. While the paint is wet, that is. Okay, there you go. I know I should give that a little time to dry, but I'm not. Uh, let me go ahead and get the nose right quick. I think we can. Stenciling makes a project go really, really fast. Ah! 
Okay, and now, friends, uh, the little cheeks. And if you don't have a little round um, sponge, I just cut this one out of a compressed sponge that I don't know where I had picked up. Just make you a little, uh, a little stencil with a little circle on it and use it. It doesn't have to be hard to do. Let's see, I picked up some pretty pink for this. Here it is. Press down. I'm going to have to go look for the Christmas tree here pretty soon. Uh, my friend Susan said that they already have them in all different colors at uh, Home Goods. So I need to check there. I'm just adding a little red on the sides there. Just because. Does it blend in better than that? What do you mean? I don't know, it just looked like she uh, got ketchup all over her face like she ate it. No, I mean, I just kind of like it, see? Oh, there you go. I wasn't, I wasn't quite there. finished. No, I, I wasn't quite finished. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now before I do the little head pe the little frosting on the top, oh no, this is a new bottle. Here we go. I think I'm going to go ahead and do go ahead and do the outline right quick. And I just do this freehand for because it's really not going to show once you uh, once you put the um, little pigtails on top. They're so cute. And on this, friends, just get after it. Doesn't have to be perfect at all. My little hearts there. Little detail. Little dots. Specular highlights. Mm-hmm. Specular highlights. And I think I'm going to, I know I should quit while I'm ahead, but I think I'm going to give it a little green. Um, little green detail down here at the bottom. So she can have green eyes like I have green eyes. All right, now um, I'm just going to put a little bit of this silly foam beads on it that goes all over the place before I shake the glitter on it. But friends, see how fast this goes? The other day I made a bunch of uh, gingerbread lollipops and it just amazed me how you can create something so quickly when you use a stencil and you have everything ready and you'll have it ready for Christmas. There's 
All the hard work of anything is usually in the prep work. Yes. If you do more than one, then you have it made. A viewer told me to stick a dryer sheet inside the, um, the baggie, and that's what I did. And it seemed to be under control today. All right, clear glitter, because I like things to shine, and I just stuck my finger in there. But all is good. All we lack is the little tongue. And I'm just gonna make a little, a little heart, half heart right there for tongue. Well, it doesn't really look like the top of a heart, but I tried. And I'm going to add a little red glitter. Okay, and I'm not gonna shake it off right now, I don't think. Oh well, here goes nothing. <laughs> I'm anxious. Okay, set it aside. And now, the little friends, I forgot to tell you when I was outside that I was using the safe part up here of the cookie cutter when I pressed my hand through it. So, um, it's got this kind of like, what do you call this? Just a rolled edge. A rolled edge, so you don't hurt your hand. And the plate was not the best thing to use, but you know what? <laughs> it was there. Uh, usually I have a little piece of wood the last time I did it and it worked great. So I'm just gonna show you briefly um, because I have one ready to detail, but how fast, well, where's my red brush? I just get after it. I just get this red paint and just put it over this little round. I call, I call them pigtails. Eric said they look like what? <laughs> Mickey Mouse ears. I said, no, Eric. <laughs> and none of us had thought of that, myself or my daughter-in-law, until Eric said that, so. I always look at everything uh, differently. Este Eric. Yes, in the first video, I didn't, I just pulled out the one I had base coated and Eric got on to me. He likes me to show y'all every step, and which is only, which is only right, but I got a little carried away because I was tired and we had filmed three videos that day. Well, we, we weren't really sure starting off too. I know at least working on other YouTube channels that usually less is more, meaning shorter videos equals better audience. But in your case, it's, it's hard to it's skip hard. steps. It is, it is. And a lot, of, a lot of you tell me, thank you for showing you each step. Yeah, so once we started seeing that feedback, I figured, well, you know what? It, they can always skip through stuff if they want to speed up the process. Okay, friends, there's one painted. That's how I painted it. And here's one that's already dry. All I did straight out of the bottle, and this may spit, because like I said, it's a new bottle. I call it spit, but it's like bubble up, bubbles Spatter? Up. Yes, spit and spatter. Okay, and I start at the center, and I just kind of go like this. And it doesn't have to match the other one because I don't think pigtails match. What do you think? I mean, Mickey Mouse's ears. Oh, they're not Mickey. Eric, they're not Mickey Mouse ears. Quit saying that. Uh, <laughs> okay, here's, here we go again. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, friends. There you go. Let's get our little... 
crazy beads. You know what? I'm just going to put them right here so they don't go all over the place. I don't know. You can be as creative as you want with these. Um, I was thinking about doing something else with them since Eric called them Mickey Mouse ears. That's going to make them little hearts, but I don't know. I'm going to play with them. But I just thought this was a cute idea, and I just kind of, I don't know what gave me that idea to do that, but I did it, and I'm real happy with it. Okay. And so now you've got your little pigtails. Okay, friends, so your project is ready for the next step, and that's the detail. Uh, at this point, if you wanted her dress to show a bunch of glitter, you would use your Maj Podge and go ahead and glitter it and let it dry completely before you put the, the detail on the dress. Now, if you don't do that, it's still going to catch glitter on the dress from the detailing after you glitter it, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the border down here. And like I said, no right or wrong way to do this. I'm going to make this one a little thick. And this goes really fast. And that one's done. Make it look like a um, sugar cookie, gingerbread sugar cookie. All right, I have to turn it around this way. And you, like I said, you just do this right out of the, uh, the paint bottle right here. Do not be afraid. It'll be all right. Now the next thing I'm going to do is the collar. Let me see. How did I do that? Just scallops. And I don't ever measure, I just kind of guesstimate. So, my motto is, it'll be all right, friends. Just get after it. Oh, that's going to be cute. I like it already. Now, see that has foam beads on it. Here they are. Probably should have done that first. No. It'll be okay. Just don't spill them onto the arms. But you know what? I'll just do a hit. I'm not going to do that. I learned not to shake the bag. Yeah, because we already, we already filmed this video once. 
It was a disaster. <laughs> Friends, it was a disaster. <laughs> ah, Eric can tell you. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's see. I'm going to just do my little zigzag Charlie Brown thing here. There we go. Friends, I'm excited about my Halloween projects coming up. I hope you are too. A lot of you are telling me you're looking forward to them. So am I. Got a few things already ready. I'll probably post on my Instagram the, um, the dough ornaments, the Halloween dough ornaments I've already made. They are so cute. They make such a cute uh, decoration. You just go out and find you a mesquite branch, spray paint it black, and hang your little ornaments on it. Put some little orange lights on there or some candy corn lights. Makes a cute decoration. I have several of them. Okay. Getting back to um, our filming this last, when was it, last Monday? <laughs> our little disaster. Remember friends, I tell you, Anything and everything can be fixed. I fixed my little girl and she's gonna be okay. And I, I think I'm going to give her away to one of you in another giveaway later on. Oh, that's what you were wanting to give away. Yes. Oh, you can give it away at the end of this video. Oh, I can? Yeah. Oh, Eric told me I couldn't have another giveaway. I, I was confused. <laughs> I thought you were, I was like, this is gonna be a long video already. <laughs> I don't want to detract from it by doing another giveaway. He thought that he thought that I already had something to see you're already you're already flirting with disaster. Eric. Eric, I'm you know what I'm gonna do every time you say something like that? I'm gonna give you the pink chicken. Hush. <laughs> oh my gosh, where did these Exactly. What happened? I thought that that little sheet of... Uh... Because you're asleep at the wheel over here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, but this is going to be so cute. Now, if I wasn't filming, I would have done this uh, last after that dried... But since we're filming, friends, and I just, uh, I'm anxious to show you that you can do this. It's not hard at all. And even if you mess up like I did, I mess up so you don't have to, remember? Um, I still fix my little girl and I'm going to give her away because I made her with love for one of y'all. And then Eric told me I couldn't have a giveaway. <laughs> Burst my bubble. <laughs> I didn't realize that's what you were giving away. I forgot that you mentioned that. I don't want to think about how I'm going to think about how all this edits together is good. That is too funny. I was like, okay, and I want to do my giveaway, and then I want to give one of my friends a shout out. He says, we can't on this video. It's already too long. And I said, oh, okay. Well, so that's okay. That's still a bit to be determined. This might be long. All righty, hon. This is what we're going to do next. We're going to glitter. Look, I just 
I just got one and I got to bring those little tweezers up here. Look, friends, how cute is this going to be? I'm just going to sprinkle a little glitter because when you shake it off, it's going to leave a little bit in the cre crevices in the little, the little holes there. Oh, so cute, so cute. See how it's still got some glitter on it? I love it. Look at that, Eric. That turned out so cute. Now, friends, let me show you how I have one all ready and all parts ready, ready to put together for you. Okay, friends, I have a finished little girl here and um, you put, I put the toothpicks on the body here. The way you put the head on, forgot about that step. You grab your two toothpicks, and then you grab your little head. Oh, let's see if I can do this facing you. Does that look straight, Eric? Before you go all the way down, you take your glue. This is styrofoam glue, remember. You can use hot glue as well, I mean, just to hold it in place. But you really need to invest in this $1 styrofoam glue from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so there goes the head. And we'll set her aside. Now we're ready for the pigtails. The head is on securely. It's glued on there. We're going to get the two toothpicks. And let me see. Do we have a hole in this one? Right here. And what I went ahead and did is I took my bow and I put it there and I held it down with the pigtail. Too cute, too cute. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing over here. And later on I'll go in there and put some glue Oh my goodness, is she not adorable? Friends, be sure to comment and let me know. She is adorable. Let me know if you plan to make one. Be sure and like, comment, and subscribe, friends. Help our channel grow some more. So, you gonna give one away? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, so, this is our mistake. But friends, she's adorable. Who wants to win this? If you want to enter the drawing for this cute little gingerbread girl, just ha comment, say hi, hello, I like the video, whatever, but comment and hashtag girl. How about that? Gingerbread girl. Hashtag gingerbread girl. All one word connected to the hashtag, friends. No spaces. Okay, and remember, you know the rules. So, if you want to win this little girl, let me know. Friends, this was fun. Choose kindness. Laugh often. Stay crafty, friends. Love y'all. Love your love and support.